Good morning, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. This morning we're taking a look at this 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Voodoo Blue is the color, and that is a bright blue. So starting up front, we've got our headlight package. I'll cover that in a later, later in the video. But with your grill, it's a, mon it's a matte finish gunmetal gray with a huge Toyota badge right in the center and then we do have a hood scoop that is purely cosmetic it's not open to the inside of the engine you certainly could get out your sawzall and do it yourself if you want to but it's designed as a cosmetic feature going down underneath the TRD Sport does have your tow hooks and your lower volance down there that goes way low and one of the things you'll notice is it's got these little fins over on the side here for aerodynamics and to reduce wind noise. Now the wheels on the TRD Sport, they're a 17 inch cast aluminum wheel. They are uh, machined aluminum here and then they've got the piano black paint finish there as well. And uh, they've got the six lug nut configuration for rigid rigidity and then we do have four-wheel disc brakes all the way around you can see them there the front suspension setup is going to be your spring over shock setup and then the tires these are a 265 i'm sorry a p265 65r all season radial tire so these are really good in the snow, but they're also very quiet out on the road, and these are a Firestone tire. This particular one does have the factory mud flaps front and rear. That's an accessory, $129. And then we also have the black out package, which gives you the matte finish on the Toyota emblems themselves. Mirrors are painted to the same color as the vehicle and we've got the LED turn signals right here. Notice the mirrors do fold in for tight parking spaces, but then also if you're at the shopping mall and somebody comes by with a shopping cart and they hit it, notice they break away both ways. Super nice there. A little bit of an air uh, vent, not vent, but a fin there on the side. Door handles are colored to match, and this does have the smart key set up, so you don't need your keys to get in and out. You can leave them in your pockets. Back windows are tinted. Part of the black package is the shark fin antenna for your S XM Cirrus satellite radio. You notice we have the bed light, that's an extra charge, 149. Power sliding window, which is also tinted out and then color to match wheel flares here and up front and your gas doors right here. This is gonna combine fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon, city and highway. TRD Sport does come with the TRD Sport at, uh, decal down the side. And then this one here has uh, the factory tonneau cover. That's an extra charge of $800. And there's your rear tail light assembly. Later in the video, I'll turn those on so you can see what they look like. So here's a quick look at the headlight and the front lighting setup on the Tacoma. You can see in a normal driving mode, we have projection style driving lights here. And then we have our bright lights on the inside of there. And then down on the bottom is where we've got the fog lights integrated into the bumper. In addition to those lights, we also have a turn indicator built right here into the mirrors as well. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and work through that progression and show you what each of the lights look like as we flip between all of the options. There we have it with the bright lights on and your, your uh, running lights are on as well. So you can see we have amber lights on the side as your marker lamps. And when we go to the bright, it turns on the additional lights here 
and we also have an adjustment made to the projector lights so it's a really bright lighting package when you go to your bright setup now I want to take a quick look at when we're in the standard driving mode and we have the fog lights on so go ahead and turn off those brights and then I'm going to switch on those fog lights and we'll take a look at how those look so there you go with the driving lights and the fog lights now when you switch on the brights the fog lights automatically come off or automatically turn off and then lastly I want to just uh, go ahead and turn on the flashers or the blinkers so you can see what those look like as well so I'll switch on the hazards and you can see we have those blinkers operating here in the front and we also have them up in the mirror and of course normal driving this is what uh, somebody would see with the fog lights on and your LED turn in indicators right here in the, the headlights and then lastly we'll, we'll swing around here to the back so you can see what your tail lights look like So taking a cl close look at the back of this TRD Sport, there are a couple features on here I wanna spend a little extra time on. Uh, this is an accessorized version. So this one does have the hard factory Tacoma uh, tonneau cover. That's an $800 option. And you can see it comes apart in three different sections. Very high quality. I think the right way to go on one of these trucks versus the vinyl. Um, but it is $800 extra. You can see we have a uh, bed light up on the top and that too is an extra charge on this at uh, $149. And then this one does come with the power sliding rear window which you can see is tinted and then I have it opened up in the center. And then moving down the back of it, we do have the blacked out package on this one. So that's gonna give you the blacked out Tacoma v6 badging that's blacked out and basically any emblems that are on the truck are going to have the blacked out effect there is a backup camera right here and then toyota right on the the handle itself let's go ahead and pop that open so the tacoma has a composite bed which means the bed liner is essentially built right into the bed you can see this one looks pretty nice. There are uh, lights in the bed as well. These are LED lights on both sides and they're actually angled back toward in toward the bed. So they give you some pretty nice lighting. We've got a 12 volt connection back here and then a small compartment there and uh, toe down or tie down hooks all the way around as well as the tie down hooks that go up on the bed rails that I showed you up in the front earlier and then the tailgate does have the extra protection on it. Then we have a uh, step up bumper and it has a nice uh, texture to it for safety. There's, here's your backup lights. We have a class three trailer towing package which is already pre-wired. So you can just plug your trailer in and go. Here's your trailer receiver, your hitch receiver. Again, a class three hitch package. And then up underneath here, you'll see we do have a full size spare tire. And then this does have the backup sensors with the sonar package built right into it. So there's a lot of stuff going on on the back of this particular 2020 TRD Sport. Some of its extras like the tonneau cover and the backup light and the blackout package and then other things like the trailer towing package that's standard okay let's dive into the interior and take a look and see what we've got going on in here so beginning on the driver's door we've got power windows door locks and power mirrors and then down in the door sills themselves 
there's a place for a large water bottle and a smaller water bottle depending on the size you're using and we've got some speakers in the doors as well the inside door handles are chrome and then we've got a gunmetal finish right here and you'll see that on the interior as we jump in so let's go ahead and take a look at the driver's seat itself this particular vehicle does have a 10-way power driver's seat forward backwards up down power recliner and power lumbar support and then the seats on this particular trd sport does have the cloth seats with a light gray insert and a really interesting pattern going on there and then we have the contrast stitching on the dark trim which is kind of a new look for Toyota across all of its vehicles. Let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat and see what we can find in the cockpit. Okay, so here in the driver's seat, we'll start with the steering wheel. Uh, it is a thicker than average steering wheel, I would say. And then it's got a textured, almost like a perforated uh, outline on the side and then solid leather up here. So super comfortable, um, especially if you have small hands. And uh, I like the thumb rest. And you can see we've got uh, the gunmetal gray trim running up and around, Toyota badging in the center. And then on this side, we've got the controls for your sound system, your Bluetooth, if you wanna place a call, all those buttons are right here. And then over on this side, these are your controls for the information center. And we've got controls down here for your pedestrian detection and your lane departure detection is here. And then still on the 2020 Tacomas, the cruise controls down here, where in many of the Toyota products, they've moved the contro cruise control up in this area here. So I would expect maybe when they redesign the Tacoma, we'll see that happen on Tacoma as well. Taking a quick look at your gauge cluster, uh, on the left-hand side, tachometer and temperature gauge. There's an information center here in the middle and then speedometer fuel gauge. And on this particular uh, TRD Sport, we do have the smart key system. So we don't need to put the key in. We have push button start right down here. Let's go ahead and start it up and take a look at the instruments as it fires up. So there you go. You can see in the center with the information center, I've got three doors open on the vehicle. We've got the odometer here and an outside temperature. And let's go ahead and just turn on the headlights. Take a look at what that looks like. Of course, it's pretty bright in here, so you might not be able to see that, but that's kind of a gray. We've got a white on black gauges, and then when it lights up, it's kind of a lighter white, if you will. I, I don't want to say gray, but it's a little bit lighter white. And then moving over to your center stack, we do have an eight inch touchscreen, and this is an all new system for the uh, 4Runner and the uh, Tacoma. And so it does come standard with XM satellite radio. And uh, this particular one does not have navigation, but you can certainly get it on there. There's all your information. On the dash itself, we have some four large vents across the front. These are your heating and air conditioning vents. Kind of look like ports, if you will. And then they've got the, the gunmetal gray trim running all the way across as well. And then these are circled by kind of a gunmetal chrome. They look really nice on there. Easy to open and close. Down below, we've got, let just go ahead and turn on a little bit of lighting here. Control, your push button start, four wheel drive controls, uh, heated outside mirrors, that's part of the all weather package on this one. They don't all have that. Uh, and then here's your heating and air conditioning controls. Does not have automatic temperature controls. And then down here we have controls or on off switches for the blind spot monitoring system. Um, eco and power for your transmission, uh, your parking assist, sonar parking, which is part of the package, rear window uh, power up and down, and then some power ports. And then this does have QI wireless charging for your smartphone, so you can just throw it right down here and that'll automatically charge it. 
and then we have of course a 12 volt um, port as well and then dual cup holders right down in the center here and this can come out for whatever reason cleaning or what have you looking at the transmission this is a six-speed automatic and we do have a leather wrap steer, uh, shift knob here parking brake and then an additional cup holder and coin tray right down here. Um, so there's lots of places to store stuff along the center console. It's kind of a look at the driver's view, if you will. And then heading up to the uh, roof, there's a place for sunglasses. We've got our safety connect. If you get in trouble on the road, push that and we'll get you the help you need. Overhead lighting. And then we do have the automatic dimming mirror with a compass up there as well. And over on the visors, they are lighted vanity mirrors. There's a little clip here, which is kind of nice for holding letters or, or notes or what have you. And then these do not have extensions on them, so they don't come out, but they do fold over to the side if you needed to do that. Your glove box is here. It's a nice big glove box. Uh, and we do have all the owner's manuals, of course, as a new Toyota, you're going to get those. The inside of the Tacoma is, is rigid. So some of our newer vehicles, like the new Highlander, is kind of a more of a, a soft line flowing dash, where this is kind of um, uh, chunky, if you will. And I think that's just to give an overall impression of rugged, ruggedness. And then we do have a small center armrest. This package contains your tie downs for your bed in the uh, bed area. And there's your storage compartment. So it's not overly big, but you certainly have some additional storage. And then way down on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, but there's power ports down here as well. And they're spring loaded, so they kind of close themselves. Just that little extra touch that Toyota has been putting into their vehicles. Um, which I think adds a lot of quality and a lot of value. They're not trying to just get by on the cheap when they build these things. So jumping into the back seat on the Tacoma, starting here on the door, we just like the front seats, we have the cup holders and the bottle holders down on the bottom. Power windows and those chrome door handles once again. Speakers in the doors down here. And then as far as the seating goes, we've got a 60-40 uh, fold-down seat. And there's a couple things I like about it, but there's a couple things I don't like about it. Um, first thing I like is when you fold it down, this is a really hard surface. So if you're dropping uh, toolboxes or skis or ski boots or something like that, you've got that protection. I also like the fact that they provided some storage here behind the seats some deep well storage. I would have liked to seen this be more of a soft plastic. If you put stuff in there, it kind of rolls around and makes noise. So I would have liked to see that. And then just a little touch up here where you can hang your uh, plastic grocery bags. So I, I like the attention to detail there. What I don't like about the Tacoma, and I think is a real miss, is these back seats are very difficult to fold down. You're, I don't know anybody who could do it with one hand and I think that's important. So in order to fold the seats down, I had to remove the headrest and then it stores right here, which I guess is a good idea, but I had to physically take the headrest out. See if I can do it with one hand. I had to take the headrest out of here and put it into that back of the seat, fold that down. But before I could do all that, I have to pull this up. So if I've got one hand with a bag of groceries and I want to put it in the back, folding these seats down is not easy. I really hope that Toyota has a better solution when they redesign the Tacoma. It's a miss, but it wouldn't prevent me from buying one. Underneath here, there's some more storage as well. And once again, I'd like to see this storage lined with a softer fabric, even if it was felt lined. So when you throw stuff in there, it doesn't make a whole bunch of noise rattling around. I personally am a little um, sensitive to all the rattles and squeaks in cars, so 
In the center console, there are dual cup holders right there. And then the seats again have a dark contrast down the center and the light gray with the light gray stitching. And there are child seat anchors so you can load your kid kiddos up pretty easily. In the back on the roof, we've got places to coat hangers and passenger assist handles right there. So overall, the back seat's great. There's plenty of room for adults. I like the fact that they fold down 60-40. I just hope that Toyota comes up with a one-handed solution when they redesign the Tacoma. Diving under the hood on the Tacoma, this is our standard V6 engine. It's a 3.5 liter gasoline engine that produces 278 horsepower. So really great power out of this engine. Now, combined fuel economy city and highway is 20 miles per gallon. Out on the highway, it's 22. And the powertrain warranty on the Toyota products is going to be a five year, 60,000 mile, zero deductible powertrain warranty. And then this engine is connected to a six speed automatic transmission. And we do have full and part-time four wheel drive on this particular TRD Sport. So there you have it, the new 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport Double Cab with some great accessories, voodoo blue in color, blacked out package, factory accessory on the tonneau cover, optional rear bed light, factory installed mud flaps, this one has a list price of just over 40,000 available at Smart Motors, Toyota in Madison, Wisconsin. If you like my video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, maybe you'd like me to do something more specific or different on this vehicle, put that in the comments. I'd be happy to do that if I'm able to oblige, I certainly will. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.